in this video we will learn about the concept of optimization which is an important tool of analysis in economics primarily we have to understand its basics when we do the etymology of this word it is uh, driven from a latin phrase a word which is optimus and optimus means best it means that we are looking for the best outcome now the best outcome is not necessarily the most uh, desirable thing it can be least of the undesirable thing for example the process of maximizing the favorable variables and minimizing the unfavorable variables we know that we have utility we have uh, revenue we have profit and in the unfavorable variables we have costs and we have loss so these are the variables that we will try to minimize whereas we will try to maximize these variables now this is a given function that we can try to um, imagine in terms of its maximization or minimization or broadly speaking optimization this is a cubic function as you can see and uh, whenever we plot a cubic function we get two wiggles you can see that there are two wiggles first is this wiggle uh, at the top and the other is this wiggle with uh, coordinates 1 and minus 3 one is upwards and the other is downwards so this is the nature of the cubic function that we have uh, plotted here however this wiggle is having a peak point and this is having the lowest point so this can be termed as a maximum and this can be termed as a minimum these are the coordinates of the minimum and these are the coordinates of the maximum if it is a favorable variable we would wish that it would be here and if it is an unfavorable variable we wish that it is at this point so this is something that gives rise to a maximum or a minimum here we have tried to visualize it here in this uh, diagram which is an abridged version of the previous diagram this was the maximum and this was the minimum now after we're making sure that we are dealing with the maximum and a minimum we are trying to generalize our understanding by assuming that in a graph there is not necessarily one maximum and one minimum there can be multiple maximum that is this one that one that one and multiple equally uh, minimum that is this one this one and that one so if we try to compare them all we have to distinguish the one which is at the highest level for example this point is the highest possible maximum as compared to this one as well as that one so it is the global maximum that we are talking about it is called as the global maximum whereas the other maximum points they are known as the local maximum this is also a local maximum because locally it is at the highest point and not at th from the all over all the points and then we have the uh, minimum minimum is also there this is the lowest minimum so we call it the global minimum this is the local minimum which is at uh, a lowest point but not the lowest point and this is also a local minimum so now we have this understanding of the nomenclature of global and local and um, there is another set of words which is used for it for example for global we also use absolute so it can be an absolute maximum or an absolute minimum moreover the local is also termed as um, relative maximum and minimum so this is also there a possibility and we are assuming that it is there um, uh, the possibility of having more than one maximum and more than one minimum and the distinguish uh, the distinction between them is via local and uh, global and relative versus absolute so after understanding these uh, specific terms let us try to visualize uh, the optimization for some economic variables you can see we have plotted uh, a few variables in this diagram this is revenue and this is profit this is total cost so uh, revenue is maximum here and you know profit is maximum here this is the total cost so we want to maximize the profit as well as we want to maximize the revenue 
so um, an example for minimum is when we have a long run average cost curve and you know that um, um, you know it is an envelope of uh, uh, various average cost curves for different levels of output that is different plants um, so this is that point at which we have the lowest level of long run average cost curve and this can be termed as a minimum in an economic situation that is average cost and you know that it is a desirable thing to minimize the average cost when it comes to the profit maximization of a firm another uh, set of terms is uh, important to know that generally we can call them extremum or extrema because these are two extremes one is the maximum and the other is minimum but when we want to write the plural we call it extrema and when we want to write the plural of maximum we have been uh, we have not been using this term before i didn't uh, but now we are using it that was to keep the thing simple however if we are talking about more than one maximum we should call it maxima and if we are talking about more than one minimum we should call it uh, call those minima so this is the singular and plural of the maximum and minimum which should be correctly used in our optimization analysis so this was a brief introduction to what optimization process is definitely we haven't solved it mathematically but we have set our vocabulary correct by knowing various terms that are usually used in it and we have also tried to visualize it and see that how it actually can be seen or observed in a certain graph thank you